I'll always aim to promote guide runners because I think they're they're incredible people. You know, they allow people like myself to follow their dreams. So I think they should be really kind of championed as very much the unsung heroes of 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 my sport and really glad in more recent years that they're getting the credit they deserve. You know, there was a time where guide runners wouldn't get a medal, you know, at a Paralympic Games, which is, you know, I understand it's the athlete, but without the guide, there's no athlete. Um, so now they get medals, they also get funding. They also, so if me and Greg were able to get in British Athletics funding, he gets it as well. He gets everything I get, you know, and I want to, it makes me more kind of motivated to give him that as well. I want to give him something back for what he's giving me. Um, and, you know, and that's why it's so important for me, that relationship between myself and my guide is, is so important. And, you know, thankfully we're, we're both from Celtic nations, so we, of course, we get on very well. The Welsh and the Scottish. <laughs> hey, he loves that sort of Celtic connection. I think if I was English, it would be a different story. <laughs> it's it's elite level sport. He's he's a lot quicker than a lot of able-bodied athletes. The sort of level is quite quite scary when you think about it. And obviously, he's he's got the impairment, but then to go in the blindfold and have completely zero, and then just run balls to the walls and and just trust that you know we're gonna. We're going to meet the finish line and not run into something. Um, it's, yeah, it's amazing.